What's up, family? It's Shaz. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down AI agents and what this means for your business. AI agents, if you don't know already, are infinitely better than any ChatGPT prompt, Claude prompt, or ChatGPT use case you have seen before. These AI agents are here, they're coming, and you have to adapt because this will radically change the way business is performed in all verticals, especially if you're online and you're running an online agency or a B2B service. AI agents are here, and you can either capitalize on them or get replaced by them. I truly believe this statement. You have to understand these fundamental concepts that I'm about to break down in this little Miro board right here. All right, so let's get right into AI agents and how ChatGPT simply cannot compare to what's coming. ChatGPT, if you've been using it, it's, it's mind blowing. It's amazing. It works really, really well, but AI agents are on a whole different level, like a whole nother stratosphere, guys. It's insane what these AI agents can do. I'm gonna break down the fundamental concepts you have to understand so you can prepare for what's coming. Guys, I'm gonna go over three concepts. And when you think this through, please think this through, watch it over, watch it two times speed if you're a quick learner. This will give you a foundation of what's to come, right? And how you have to adapt for either selling AI agents or implementing them in your business or in your offer to make it irreplaceable in the age of AI, right? You have to understand this stuff. Scope, functionality, and decision-making. These are the three things that I have boiled down that AI agents absolutely destroy chat GPT prompts on, right? Again, you can either benefit from this stuff or get replaced by it in the future. Let's go over to the Smiro board and break down exactly what I mean and how important this stuff is. So first I'm gonna cover scope, all right? So chat GPT is conversational while AI agents are tailored. And this is a massive, massive difference. I'm gonna show you the benefits right now. So if you're broad in knowledge on all subjects, which chat GPT is, you're really not a master of one. All right. And also a reason that ChatGPT is not the best in comparison to AI agents is because of the limited context window. Context simply refers to how much context knowledge does it have to give an accurate answer. The better the context window, the better the output. All right. Every single time. For example, let's say three people live together. Let's say you and two other friends live together. Those other two people you live with, let's say they grew up together. They have more context on each other's lives and past experience than you will ever have. All right. So all the conversations you guys have, if they bring up the past, you can't relate because those guys grew up together while you didn't grow up with them, right? They have more context on certain scenarios and certain situations, and you will never have that context, right? That's just an example that might be applicable to you in your life. If let's say you join a friend group later in your life, or maybe someone joins your friend group in, later in life, you will never have as much context or they will never have as much context as you do because of the situations and the experience and the past stuff that has happened, right? So ChatGPT does not have good context. And again, the better the context, the better the output of the model, right? We context window, and accurate output. And that's something we have to avoid at all costs with these AI models. On the other hand, we have AI agents, all right? They're very tailored, right? They're built around one mechanism, one task, and they're built to do one objective. More narrow scope, the better the context window, the better the context window, the better the result. For example, let's say you have two majors, right? People that graduated undergraduate, right? Four years undergraduate, usually age 18 to 22, or people that just graduated with their master's degree, they're about 24. The person that graduated with a master's degree in a certain subject is infinitely better or more knowledgeable on average than the person that did the bachelor's degree. Because in a bachelor's degree program at college or university, whatever you call it, you're doing a bunch of different classes. You got to take your general requirement classes. You have to do science and math and history and all this stuff. If you're doing a master's degree, it's highly focused on one single task. So again, this is exactly the difference. An undergrad person would be like ChatGPT, has a bunch of knowledge on a bunch of different subjects, not a master of any of them. Masters might not know all these different things, but they're really, really good at one thing. And that's all you need. You need an AI agent to be really good at one specific task. All right. And that is sort of the differences between ChatGPT and AI agents. All right. And, and to come, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a bunch of different AI agents and how these are, again, going to just blow ChatGPT out of the water. So the first thing is scope. And here's a business example for you guys. We do YouTube strategy. So we use AI and YouTube to scale companies. That's what we do. There's a free community teaching that down below if you want to go check it out completely free. Let's say, that you're tasking and ChatGPT or an AI agent to do the task of creating a YouTube strategy for your business. If you ask ChatGPT this, and if you ask an AI agent this, you're going to get a night and day different answer, right? Night and day different answer, right? An AI agent will actually scope out the task and do it, which I'm about to show you. ChatGPT will just show you how to do it. And there's a huge difference in this, all right? This one is hyper tailored. It knows all the information. This is general drawing from general information on the internet, right? The answers will be night and day different and you can't have this lack of discrepancy. If you're using ChatGPT and your competitor is using an AI agent that's specialized, they're gonna blow you out of the water, all right? So you have to keep that in mind. Now, this might scare you, right? Because why would someone pay for your agency when they can have an AI agent do it for them? If you're running Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever it is, why would someone pay you three grand a month when they could just hyper train an AI agent and the AI agent will do all the copy, they'll do the ad creative, they'll do the strategy, they'll adjust the ad spend, all that stuff. All right, it's a general question, right? It sort of should scare you. And I'll show you sort of how you could come over that in a second, how you can get over the commoditization that will come from AI. 
All right, especially AI agents. Now, next is functionality. Functionality refers to how each AI method, ChatGPT and AI agents, again, same sort of umbrella of AI, two different models, modes, I should say, refers to how these two methods operate and executes the task at hand. When you want to execute a task using AI, it needs to be efficient, it needs to be fast, automation, it needs to be automated, it needs to be accurate, right, uh, et cetera. And automation efficiency really covers all this. It has to be accurate and fast, which is efficiency, right? So that's what I mean by functionality. Now, AI agents, again, blow ChatGPT out of the water with task capability and execution and autonomy. This is really, really important, especially autonomy. When we think of AI agents, these are things that are autonomous. They're doing it by itself. They're doing the actions and the tasks by itself. I'm going to show you how crazy this stuff gets. So again, let's say the task at hand is create an end-to-end -end YouTube strategy to attract my dream clients to our company. All right. So when we work with clients, we create them a YouTube strategy using AI that helps them get on YouTube, post, and attract their dream clients. So let's say this is a task at hand. If you give this task to ChatGPT, you give the best of the best prompts, all you're going to get is ChatGPT outputting how this is done. All right. Now, if you give the same prompt to an AI agent, it will not only show you how it is done, but it'll also go and do it for you. All right. So again, with a ChatGPT, if you ask it, hey, come up with the end-to-end -end strategy for my YouTube channel to attract my dream clients, it will show you, hey, hey, Shaz, do this and this and this and this. The AI agent will say, hey, Shaz, do this, this and this, and I'm going to do it for you. Right. That's, that's the difference, guys. It will show you in theory how to do it, and then it'll execute on it. By the way, if you want to know how to come up with a YouTube strategy, I have a whole playlist on how to generate leads and clients with content completely free. It'll be linked down below. But this is what you can expect from an AI agent in the future. So you will say, AI agent, my YouTube AI agent, come up with the end-to-end -end strategy to help me out with X, Y, and Z. And first, this is what the AI agent will do in theory. It will map out the instructions. So it'll scope out the project. It will then go to Google Docs. It can navigate to Google Docs, create the document. It can then go to Notion and start filling up your content calendar and content ideation sort of frameworks. Then it can start scripting the first video, et cetera, guys. So the AI agent, again, will not only scope out the project and tell you what to do, it will also perform these actions for you guys. And as these get more advanced and more autonomous on your computer, these guys can just run in the background 24 seven for your business. It's gonna completely change everything for online business owners and even local business owners as well. All right, so that's how AI agents absolutely just crush ChatGPT, all right? Again, task capability and execution is just much higher with AI agents. They can complete niche complex tasks, very, very niche, very, very specific, because again, they're tailored, they're trained around a certain objective and autonomy. One click deployment with accurate output and execution. This is insane, guys. Imagine, again, having an AI agent say, hey, AI agent, go do this. Boom, one click deployment and it goes and does it, guys. It doesn't tell you how to do it, but it tells you how to do it and then does it for you. All right, that's the difference. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. And again, this may scare you. Why would someone pay for agency? when they could just have a tailored AI agent. This is stuff you have to prepare for. Again, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm hedging myself against AI agents and how I can make my business irreplaceable in the age of AI, all right? Finally, probably the best one, we have decision-making, all right? AI agents learn as they go and operate on programmable decision-making frameworks. All this means programmable decision-making frameworks is they have rules, they have fail-safes, and they have ways to operate. So you could give your AI agent a set of frameworks and rules that it has to follow and that it will use to get the best possible outcome. Let me show you an example. So let's just say this is a general workflow, right? You give the AI agent a task to execute. It scopes out the task. So that's what any model does, sort of formulates internally or it might output it as well, what has to be done in order to achieve said task. The AI agent encounters something that it's not trained on. So it goes boom, 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 boom. Oh, this third line, when I'm scoping out the task, I've never done this before, I don't know what this is. Then it refers to the decision-making frameworks that you gave it. It updates the frameworks for future tasks and then it completes the task. That is how insane this is. And let me give you an example that's more applicable and I can understand and wrap your head around. So the marketing team has an AI agent and assigns the AI agent to develop a content strategy that again, attracts dream clients. This is exactly what we do. So we're making it very applicable to uh, this video. So I'm trying to give examples that all fall under using YouTube content and AI to drive business because you have to be on social media to scale your business and beyond. So now scoping out the task, the AI agent reviews past content, audience demographics, and current interests to identify strategies. So this is just the AI agent taking the prompt from the marketing team and scoping out what it has to do. Now, let's say the AI agent runs into a trend in the market that it hasn't seen in the content library. So this is something new to the AI agent, all right? It does not know what this is. Then the AI agent will go and consult the frameworks that you have given to the AI agent. It will consult the frameworks and implement the new stuff into the frameworks. So again, it updates the rules and executes. It'll take this new trend and then it will rework what it was previously assigned to do. And the AI agent will update its strategy to proactively monitor and prioritize trends going forward. So again, guys, you're introducing a curveball almost to this AI agent. It's able to fall back on stuff that you give it, fail safes, rules, 
stuff like that. It's able to adapt and overcome and learn as it goes. Guys, this is this is nuts. Like you can't do this with just a regular chat GPT prompt. You can do this with more advanced automations, maybe using make.com or something like of that of the sort. But this is nuts because now you can have an AI agent that's very easy to make, that has a set of rules, that never disobeys them, and that learns as it goes. So you get an autonomous, tailored agent that can make educated decisions and actions on your behalf. Right? What's stopping me from having my Google Sheet of Leads, deploying my AI agent, and then going to bed and then waking up and seeing all my leads have been followed up with, right? Personalized, custom, etc. That is what an AI agent can do. That just completely destroys any appointment setting agency or even a cold outbound agency, right? You don't need it because AI agents can do a lot of this stuff for you. Now, again, a lot of this stuff is still in theory, meaning these softwares have to progress, but we're already seeing that this is very possible and this will come to fruition within the year, for sure within the year, maybe within the next few months, all right? So this is what you have to be preparing for. So again, fundamental upgrades from ChatGPT. So AI agents are better than ChatGPT because they have better decision-making, they have better functionality, and they have better scope, meaning they have better context on what the question is, and they can give a better output. All right, so why is this so important? Let's go back here. Why is this so important? Why do you have to know this? That's because every company you know, the people you're targeting, they'll have AI agents for every single department in their business. They might not need your agency services anymore. All right, now how to be commoditization? There's two main ways. One is the personal branding method, and two is high barrier to entry. So if you just have the best AI agent on the market, or you're just doing the best service ever, it's very hard to replace, guys. This is done with talent and code. So if you have the best talent on your team, like let's say you're a Facebook ads agency and you just have the best media buyer in the world, AI will not replace you because you are just simply that good and you already have sort of reputation, all right? And code as well. So if you have the best AI agent, it's trained on the best data, et cetera, then you should also be fine. That's the only two ways you could be commoditization is high barrier to entry, meaning a lot of people can't replicate what you do and you have a personal brand. All right, that's how you beat commoditization. And the way we're taking it is the personal brand. So we're helping people get on YouTube, utilizing AI to absolutely blow up their channels and turn blow up their businesses. We're not optimizing for views and all these things, the subscribers and brand deals. We want lead sales calls and clients. My YouTube channel alone is booking in about 50 calls a month. And it's doing it for a bunch of our other clients as well. And you can see here, booking in calls, growing channels, collecting 25K in two months from just YouTube alone, guys. This stuff works really, really well. And again, it allows you to network and also establish brand, which again, AI can not replace. I have a whole free community down below showing you exactly how to do this, coming up with content ideas that convert building a brand on the best social media, which is YouTube, leveraging AI and how to do it in the fastest amount of time possible. You can also partner up with us down below. And I also have a free training in the description. That is it for this video, guys. Again, you have to be on the lookout for AI agents. They are here and it's way better than ChatGPT. All right, so build that personal brand in the free community down below to make sure you cannot be replaced by AI agents or start building AI agents for yourself and get ahead of the curve so you can start selling them before your clients build them for themselves. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I highly recommend you watch this video next. It's just as useful. I will see you in the free community or I'll see you in the next video.